with my four years experience with aspirants and jambite, I've discovered that so many people complain about physics as a subject that it's hard. The process of getting it is very hard to get math in there. But with, can I shock you? Physics is one of the subjects that can actually earn you a lot of math with your exam. You are actually writing an exam for me soon. And I'm going to be talking about a few things that you have to do and note so that you can actually have a very good score in the physics examination. If you are new here, I'm AY and I'm a third year medical student of Lalo Piatola University. If you are yet to subscribe, do well to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and like this video. Don't forget to drop a comment and share. And if you are a returning subscriber, you are welcome. Now, physics is a course that requires you to understand the concepts. There are different concepts under physics. There are motion, there are um, electromagnetic, induction, all those aspects. So there are different aspects under physics. And just as you know that physics is divided into different aspects. You have mechanics, you have electricity and all others. So one of the things that you have to take note of is that you have to understand the concept of each topic. So if you understand the concept of motion and you can practicalize it, you can picture it, it will be very, very easy for you to answer any question, either theoretical or practical question that they ask you under it. So understanding the concept also helps you. I've seen a case whereby someone create an analogy of how pressure and all these barometer, all the instruments works under physics. If you understand all these con concepts, trust me, they are going to help you to understand any question that you might be given in the exam. The third thing I'm going to talk about is just as we all know that physics requires calculation and for you to answer this calculation question, there is something that you have to know which are the formulas. So it deals with formula and you have to know the formulas that each concept requires. So one of the easiest, easy ways to do this is writing out formulas that deals with each topic. You, by so doing, it will be very, very easy for you when you see a question around it so that you'll be able to answer it and you know that when you answer physics, physics calculation question, you have to firstly, firstly write out the parameters. So you writing out the parameters will help you to know the kind of formula that is going to go with that particular question. But when the formula that you use to answer it is not even in your head, you did not prepare for it, how will you be able to answer the question? I think that's one of the place, uh, places where most students have issues. So not knowing the particular formula to use to solve a question. So I'm sending you back that as you are watching this video, you should take write out each topic and write, write out the formula that you can use to solve questions under there. Just like first as an example, there are so many formulas that you can use to solve a particular question under it. So you understanding this makes it more easier for you if you have questions under it. And lastly, one thing I'm going to talk about is you solving past questions. There is an aspect of you understanding the concept, there is an aspect of you knowing the formula. But how much did you practice for the exam? So if you are going for physics exam, you have to study more past questions, solve more past questions with, with those concepts that you understood and the formulas that you know, make sure that you solve more questions on them. By so doing, you will be able to have a very good grade. These are the things that have helped me in most of my exam and trust me, if you can practicalize them, they are going to help you as well. So see, thank you so much. If you are still watching, please do well to like this video and drop a comment. See you in my next video. Bye.